CSA President Cyprian Montroup is applauding the government's efforts to expedite the move to the O.N. King European Union Hospital amid growing anxieties surrounding in-country transmission of COVID-19. In a sit-down interview with News Force, Montroup cautions members against any disadvantageous actions that may arise as it pertains to signing of contracts. What is more troubling is the fact that the employees are being asked to sign, in my view, their own death certificate, meaning the employees have absolutely no knowledge of what positions exist within the new institutions. They have no knowledge of what the pay will be. They have no knowledge of what the condition of work will be. And they are being asked to sign a document to, um, to, to go over to OKEU. This is very troubling. Montroup says the concerns of the union as it relates to future of its members have not been resolved. We have learned that there will be a management company which will be a non-national company managing the hospital and we do not know what conditions are applied to them in relation to what contractual agreements they have with the government of St. Lucia. Our concern is if the non-national have within their, their, their agreement the possibility of bringing in employees outside of St. Lucia, there, there may be a possibility that at the end of the two-year period that is currently being asked of our employees, that the, employ, the employer, which is the management company, may decide that they no longer wish to hold St. Lucian employees and bring in all of their own employees. On the other hand, Minister for Health Mary Isaac has called for deferment while the island grapples with the COVID-19 crisis, requesting leniency to allow for a smooth transition to OKEU. We are in an emergency and at this point in time, our prime concern is protecting the people of St. Lucia and this should be everybody's concern. I have heard unions that are much bigger than the ones we have in St. Lucia in other developed countries actually call in the government and inform them that they are going to cooperate. So I want to call on the unions to cooperate with the government and people of St. Lucia so that we can arrest um, this problem that we are having. For his part, Montroup urges employees to move with haste into the OKEU. However, he affirms transparency is needed for a seamless shift to the Millennium Heights complex. Now the government can allay our fears by making, making available to us the agreement so that we can satisfy ourselves that there is nothing that would cause our members to be further disadvantaged based on that agreement. The high level of speculation and ambiguity surrounding the contract, the involvement of a non-national company, and the future of staff have left the bargaining agent in suspense as the union seeks clarification from government before contracts are signed. Sulash Alfred, HTS News Force.